Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Play Slay the Spire. Please forgive me. I'm gonna do another defect run because we're close. We're inching ever closer. Centimeter by centimeter to a defect heart victory. Which will free us from this mortal coil and allow us to go back to ascension mode potentially. Um, I'm thinking, okay? We had great success last time and not even in like the Borat way. I think I like the top three. I think I would go down to 68 HP to remove a strike and defend. And basically, what do I like about this? Well, early it helps us get to zap dual cast faster, which is pretty much the only way that we consistently do damage to enemies. Beyond that, it gives us the space to add uh, more cards to the deck without filling it with garbage or contributing to it being filled with garbage. So we lost one HP due to bad draw, but we're still going strong. What did, what worked last time? We had uh, incredible amounts of frost via cool headed. Great focus. We don't need to build the same deck again. I'm going to start with the charge battery, but I was looking at ball lightning. We don't need to build the same deck again, but we could. <laughs> I know we just added a defend, but like, I think, I think I want to cut a strike. We'd rather draw... At least this is the way I feel on the first floor. On the first floor, I think we would rather draw defends than strikes. This is terrible. Um, I'm willing to take a stand. Let's go. <laughs> um, no, we still have dual cast capability, so let's put that out there. Um... So we have a nine card deck. What an interesting situation early on. It scares me a little bit, but is also, I mean, it's a great start. We'll add a leap as well, and we could really use some more offense, but those are two very good blocks to get early. Pulled out from the deck. We have consume yet again. I have to say, I think that this is a really, really good card for us. It's our only way to gain focus right off the bat. Sorry, these guys have more HP. Yeah, they must have more HP. Okay. At least it's not... Um, gain health or, you know, get metallicized every single turn, which is unbelievably annoying. 10 is 20 damage output. I think we definitely would like to use it. I... Straight up just clicked on the wrong thing. You know what? There you go then. We're gonna take six damage, not so bad, but that was a very dumb play on my behalf. The best thing I can say about this right now is we should be fine through this fight. We are gonna draw some dazes eventually, of course, but we have the framework of a run that we can be pretty pleased with, I think. I hate that we're killing these guys at an equal pace. Thank God for Leap is all I'll say about that. Please allow me <laughs> to kill one of you. The damage is spread about evenly. Uh, I can't guarantee a death there. Uh, I think we take our 1 in 3 chance to kill you. Ah, that's a bummer. Another 6 damage. So we'll probably want to rest. I beg you, sir. Please hit the enemy on the far right side of the screen. Oh my god. Okay, at least we wiped one. But yeah, rest is in order. Hey, well, maybe. Who's our boss? Hey. I don't want to... I'm not trying to be too uh, annoyed by this situation right now. All I'm going to say is that we're low rolling like well it's not really a low roll it's more like getting the wrong coin flip on every single opportunity for the coin flip when there's two enemies and your lightning hits the other enemy three times in a row you can start to be a little bit annoyed by the fact that variance exists i guess um i do think reboot 
has a place in this deck. I think resting is important, even though I wish we didn't have to do it. And now let's see how things go. Certainly looking for a defense. Yeah, that'll work. And you know what? I'm not going to dual cast you. I want to wait for uh, Consume to come around. I think we've got the shell of a good deck. I'm hopeful to avoid something that... Oh, he clicked on the wrong card, but it didn't matter because we had four energy. Slow your roll is the first thing I'm going to say to myself. It's the first video of the day. It's not a great excuse, but, you know, we're working out the sleepy kinks. Which we probably have different definitions of that phrase, but... I'm going to keep it specifically to a video game related context. I think Mercury Hourglass is, uh, is good. But I think... You're not really saying what's better, Mercury Hourglass or Sapphire Key. You're betting that the future treasures are going to be more useful. And... 3 damage per turn... Is not insignificant. I mean, it's half a strike per turn, you know? I think we'll take it because the first floor has been a little touchy for us. And we are fighting an enemy that's going to have multiple... Um, uh, that's going to have... Well, I mean, multiple forms, really. You, there could be as many as four. Actually, I guess there could be eight slimes on the screen simultaneously. So we're going to get... Cons oh, don't remove consume. I thought this was upgrade for some reason. Um... There's some huge positives and some marked negatives about where this deck is at. We have 11 cards. We've removed almost all of our basic strikes. Is that a good thing? I would I would say that absolutely it is. And I mean, I know I said we weren't building the same kind of run as last time. As of right now, we're pretty much building the same run we had last time. Uh, the only difference is it's it's a little bit. I mean, it's not even really lightning focused, which is what I was gonna say. Rather, we just have a zap. So we definitely, like, desperately need more cards uh, that are orb-driven. But I like our ability to gain focus. Like, I think you can look at this for yourself and you can see how very quickly we can get up enough damage to be quite considerable. Yeah, we'll take a cool-headed. I think it completely fits. Now, I genuinely, I would love not to rest. Here's, I saw a comment, and I agree with you, but the comment was like, I only rest, or I never rest on the first floor, even if I have one HP, because if I die, the run probably wasn't going to make it anyway. Yeah, but I can't really, I mean, I don't feel good about taking that approach in a video where, you know, we're seven and a half minutes in, people might be a little invested, I'm a little invested. I would rather rest and keep us going here, I think. Realistically, are we gonna die? I don't think so, but I, I would rather make sure of it. So I know that that seems like it's just like throwing good resources away. I guess we, we sort of have to agree to disagree on that one. Um, let me see what we're drawing next turn. I'm gonna bet on needing the energy more than the strike damage. That was an incorrect bet, but we can try to make it correct. So this is already, I love where we're at. And I'll admit, now immediately I'm like, dude, we probably didn't need to... <laughs> we probably didn't need to rest, are you crazy? So we're going to take 14 damage, I consider that absolutely acceptable. We're just going to try to pop on this guy so he gets as screwed as possible. You know, right now he's taking another 11 damage. Is he going to go over? Absolutely. So we'll definitely want to hit him with one of those. He's going to... There's going to be like two enemies with 50 HP each. It's more than I'd like. And if they both attack on the same turn, things could get a little dicey. Consume is 32 damage. I think we do do it. Somebody's rolling over again. This is where Mercury Hourglass is going to help out. Uh, random chance and also my own idiocy have put us in a situation where these guys have rolled over, you know, maybe in a way that I don't like that much. Now we got to do the math on consume again, by the way. So with three orbs, with our focus already played, we get 20, well, we can get 30 block, theoretically. Let's just say it's all frost. Two orbs will only give us... 
26 blocks, so three orbs, I guess, is better. Again, I never came up with the formula for this. And I, I know you're like, LOL, green text, the formula. But there is, there must be a mathematical expression given the cards that we have in our deck. Let's go. That defines how to determine the perfect amount of orbs or the ideal amount of orbs at the very least. So we definitely, by the way, did not have to rest. So all of these cards, I want to take all three of them. Uh, we certainly... I don't feel like it would be wise to take Hyper Beam. And I would love... I mean, I would love to take Hyper Beam with Core Surge. I would love to take Bias Cognition with Core Surge. Instead, I'm going to take Core Surge. And I guess we'll start with some Plasma. We probably actually uniquely could afford to transform all Strikes and Defense because it's only four cards, but... If we can handle that ourselves, I, I guess I'd rather just do that. Alright. I think we're gonna, uh, probably, uh, I really don't want to fight elites unless we can rest soon after. And it's not likely here, but I'm willing to give it a stab regardless. You're all, you're going for broke turn one, huh? A little rude. Well, I think consume, cool-headed, zap, at least gives you the energy back. And now we have five block. Um, so we're going to get to ten block. We're not going to draw any more orbs for a while. So I think, I mean, do you really want to strike for three damage though? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. I just wish they didn't all attack on the first turn, you know? It's a little aggressive of them. So now, um, I think a defrag is awesome here. And I think we'll just defend reboot, and it's a bit of a stretch, but this is exactly what we were hoping for, really, is another orb. So now we got a ton of damage out there, because this damage is not halved, because it doesn't count as attack damage. Decent fight. Um, fusion's interesting, right? But I think... I don't know, dude. Where the, the cold snaps did not interest me that much on our last run. I think maybe, despite the fact that it's upgraded, we might just keep it cool right now. Which is, I mean, I guess, I suppose, ironic. Because it's a cold snap in and of itself. Uh, I still don't really think we benefit from being at 40 HP. It scares me because we have no means. Uh, and I, These are just usually fairly obvious choices. I do appreciate the zap. Um, they're obvious choices in my world, at least. Whether that means that they're actually obvious. I don't know. Just keep in mind, you can't get your energy back here. So if you consume... You can definitely zap and pay it forward, but if you want to block, you do have to play these two, which is fine. I, I will miss you, Core Surge. Hopefully we can reboot into you next turn. Oh, let's actually go. Um, we're not going to reboot into it, but this is still real good. Anyway, um, yeah, I mean... It's kind of like, it's like when you have a clean room, you know? You're more likely, I think we definitely want this, than Core Surge, please. Lovely. And lucky me, to be honest. When you have a clean room, it takes longer for it to get dirty again. Because you start being like, ah, I shouldn't, you know, mess with my room. It's all clean right now. Our deck is 14 cards, largely upgraded, basic strikes removed. So it's very difficult for me to look at this run and go, oh, you know what we should do? Add cards to it. The cards have to be like, and I'll admit I've made this mistake in the past, so we got to be careful about it, but 
You know, we need to put something that gives us a progressive chance to win. As of right now, we're just gaining a bunch of focus, which is cool. But, uh... I think we, we need, like, a finisher, but I don't know what we're gonna finish with. But again, I'm just getting at, like, for now, I don't really want to add cards. It's, it's going to take a special situation, I guess, for me to add cards. So I am going to go for Capacitor. I think it allows us to play uh, Consume one more time, which in long fights will give us that much more of an advantage, of course. Uh, we could reboot. We have two energy. I actually think that's probably wise. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this is, this is pretty strong. So we'll Capacitor and Defrag and Zap. We got quite a lot of advantages working out for us here. Now we definitely do need the block. Um, do you play consume? I don't know. I feel like we'd cool headed first. And then consume leap will take us to 18 damage. 18 block, I should say. Am I okay taking one damage? Yeah, I think that's fine. It will actually take us to 19, I forgot, because Consume has been upgraded. So this this was definitely the right choice, I think. Alright, so... This is obviously worse. Um, we would expect the Frailty... Man, I wish I would have played Chord Surge last year. Dang. Um, if only I could get this out of the way. I'm kind of hoping for, like, a buffer. But actually, now that I think about it, as of right now, we're taking one damage. As long as we play both defense. We're taking one damage. What do we care? And we'll smack you in the hopes that... Well, I don't really care if you get left alive, because... The dazes don't matter to me that much, because you're actually dead. This went totally fine. What was I worried about? I can't believe I was about to use a potion. Alright, this is an interesting one. Uh, I think... Let's just get out ahead of this, and maybe take a power right off the bat. And certainly Echo Form, I think, is where you'd want to start here. I think I'm actually going to pop this attack potion as well. Uh, we'll just rip and tear. It's it's not a great choice, unfortunately, but... And you know how the rest of this deck is intended to work, at least. Whoops. <laughs> I forgot about Echo Form. Um, did I do that? Please, I would like a leap. Ah... Well, although I would prefer not to take 18 damage. Oh, you know what? Consume is pretty good here. Um, it's 8 block. Yeah, we'll, we'll take 10 due to my own idiocy. Remember, whatever you play first gets played twice. So basically, without any energy left, I might double up on charge battery, but leap's also great. We're going to do this either way. Now, if you're going to play Consume, that's probably fine. Just don't play it first. I think this is actually a completely acceptable time for this. 39. Let me see. This will do 28. So you are dead. We did use all of our potions. Didn't take that much HP, though. Oddly Smooth Stone, I'm in incredibly happy to have. Uh, I think there is not a world in which we don't like White Noise. Barrage definitely is an attack. Realistically, we'd expect this to do like 18 damage for us. But I think... Even at like a low level, what you get out of White Noise is pretty great. We'll take Sapphire Key over max HP here. Not a decision I make lightly necessarily, but... Alright, well, we'll get something out of Storm. Uh, do we want to play Consume here? Or sorry, Dual Cast? Probably. I think we really appreciate the raw damage output. Sucks to lose defrag. It's actually extremely helpful. I think we will capacitor, zap, and then just play our hand. We want to keep the passive energy. For now, at least. Uh, core surge is a lot of damage. It's tough to say no to that. I think maybe, the way I look at this right now is I would say like Core Surge and Leap 
then we'll reboot. Zap for free is always nice. And I mean, we'll just keep defending. We got 18 passive damage, so I think we're going to be fine here. This deck is working pretty well. I would still like to add a Static Discharge. Probably. Right. Every time we play a power, we get more... Uh, we get another Lightning. Well, you should definitely die. And then just mathematically, I think you guys are dead. Yeah, you have to be dead on the next turn. Sounds good to me. I think it is worth taking an Electrodynamics. We summon a decent amount of lightning. Oh, dude, the free echo form is just... It doesn't get any better than that. So we definitely would rather lightning form... Let me put it this way. You don't want a lightning form consume. What you would probably like the lightning form is either capacitor or defrag. Uh, and I think defrag, I mean, for four... I mean, really, you're getting two focus for free. But still, two focus for free. It's pretty good. And all of a sudden, every enemy's taking 30 damage. Now, that's thanks to Echo Form, but still. We only need to do one block. Uh, I mean, you're actually, you're dead, so... Let's just make sure you're both dead. That was probably the fastest we've ever done that fight. You know, I actually think we do want two Capacitors. We're going to probably upgrade Electrodynamics. Really, for one Lightning? Maybe not. Maybe we'll go for Cool Headed for an extra card draw. That's probably the worst starting hand we've had in a long time. And actually, I do worry about this guy. Uh, hitting me with all these, uh, we don't even have a single block right now. This gives us energy back, though, so let's do it like this. Um, I do worry about this guy hitting us with his, uh, Sneko Eye. We really need some blocks to come around here. And actually, I think that I will super use this. And I think I'd rather, you know... Okay, fine, I'll dual cast you. But I was thinking maybe we just want the passive 8 damage instead of 26, but it really depends if we're going to kill this guy within like 3 turns. And I think it's probably pretty likely. Uh, well, cool headed. Free defend, very nice. And, I mean, we're just going to play our other 3 cards. So we will play, let me think, 13 plus 8. Plus 15 should kill you? Yeah, just barely. So that was the right way to handle that, I think. I think we super want more Frost Orbs. Uh, I definitely believe in the power of the Special Relic. Transforming two cards. You know, let's, let's get weird. I'm going to transform our Strike and a Defend. We got Skim and Compile Driver. I think both of which I could reasonably get down with. And I'm going to I'm going to recall here cuz I I don't think I have a, an amazing upgrade target but I don't want to rest. I don't want to get nothing. But it's close. <laughs> so we got we got problems here by the way. I would like to avoid a debuff. So that's well, you know what? Let's draw two. I still want to avoid a debuff. I still want to gain focus. Then you basically just choose. Are you gonna are you gonna look for a leap on a reboot? Or are you gonna play capacitor? I'm gonna take damage turn one. I'm gonna play capacitor so that we have more consume room coming later. 24 damage, okay? It's obviously not great. Uh, charge, or sorry, consume has to be played, I think. And then, cool headed. Into a charge battery. We only have 15 block. Charge 
He's being a real jerk right now. But we're very, very easily going to get where we want to be. Let's just do, in theory, let's look at this here, okay? First off, c uh, Compile Driver draws three cards. But let's look at Consume. Right now, you have a potential for 35 block. If you use a Consume, you get to 40 block. But it will cost you energy and possibly block on this turn. But we can get there. It goes Consume, uh, and then Leap gives us enough. And then we're not going to Compile Driver, because we don't have anything that costs zero except for like a Zap. We'll play Static Discharge for the future. Then, we go from 40 block, we could get to 39. So this is where we want to be until we get more Capacitors going. So I think we're going to get more Capacitors going right off the bat. So let's play a Capacitor and a Zap. And then we'll play an Electrodynamics, really just to fill our spots here. And pretty soon we're going to have to crunch the numbers again. By the way, we desperately need more Frost as soon as possible. I also think this is the only way we get to 50 block. So this time I think you would certainly start with probably drawing 3. Now let's think about Consume. As of right now we would have 70 block. Um, we will get to 5 times 13. If we use this, which is only 65 block. So I guess we're happy with the amount of orbs we have right now. That seems like a correct assumption. Uh, and we can get a lot of energy this turn. So how do you do that? You start with a cool headed. Followed by a dual cast. Now, we want... Heat sinks is actually great draw. So we might want to play it turn one. We don't have an orb in this slot, so to be honest with you, I do sort of see consume here. And it at least helps us maximize this turn. Now, we're obviously not taking damage. What are we going to draw? We're going to draw the ability to create more frost. Yeah, and I think we prefer that over electrodynamics. Because you got to keep in mind... You know, we do need to be able to make, like, 50 block reliably on a turn to beat this guy. Because we played Heat Sinks, Loop will give us draw. Uh, and let, let's run the numbers. 65 block or 16 times 4. 64 block. <laughs> Starting to think this should be way easier to do the calculation. Uh, still 2 draw. I don't really want to use Electrodynamics, honestly. Now I love the idea of loop, though. Okay, so here we go. So we should be gaining 65 block per turn, because we, we have, uh... Wait, my math is totally wrong. We're actually at... Six... We're at 78 block. My math was way off. But anyway, we're at 13 plus 13 times 4. So we're at 13 times 5 right now. Actually 65 block. Obviously, we don't need to play anything else here. We'll put that out there. Um... Bias Cognition would probably get the kill, but I just don't see the need to throw things at risk right now. So, I think this is actually an acceptable reboot, and we'll, we'll just continue to cool-headed wherever possible. And we might as well charge Battery for more energy next turn. But we're gonna win, and I think we're gonna win pretty handily, unless we get incredibly debuffed. We're already vulnerable, and it's just working, so... Uh, no, I don't feel comfortable getting rid of uh, a Frost unless we're replacing it with a, a Frost. You know, I think you're dead. Dude, this is a very, very, very good fight. Let's be smart. Amplify uh, is is actually... I mean, we have powers we would use it on. If it hits Capacitor, Defrag... Either of our two Capacitors, we're happy. If it hits White Noise, we're probably happy. Seek, of course. The problem with Seek is that we really only want to use it to get... Defrag, consume, etc., etc. I think we actually would prefer Amplify here, and I don't say that lightly. Now, I will definitely take Sozu for the default extra energy, even if we push our Plasma Orb out. We play Powers, but for me, not enough to be overly concerned about this guy. And for once, we're actually like... I love this path, even though it forces an Elite, or maybe because it forces an Elite. Um, I mean, this is like... We do want to upgrade Amplify pretty soon.
But I still, I like this a lot. Time will tell, I suppose. Uh, I mean, electrodynamics is real good. Maybe we should consume first. I mean, we're just going to play our hand right now. But I worry, how are we going to get any block? Unless we play a cool-headed. All right. We'll play our hand. <laughs> well, we're only going to take zero damage, which is a, a pretty good number to be taking, I think. And... You are definitely dead. We don't, I mean, we'll play something, but we don't have to play anything. Might as well just, you know, get a little taste of how things could work in the ideal scenario. Yeah, 39 damage to all enemies, 24 passive block on turn 3. Seems pretty good. I do think another cool-headed fits, and we will maybe add one colorless card. Honestly, I do see the potential of Dark Shackles, but we have a 20-card deck that is incredibly tight right now. I kind of refuse to add anything. And if anything, we have great future potential because we still have our shop coming. Uh, Leap does a lot for us here, but let's start with draw. So, like, Leap Defend takes us there. But I still want to try to get out ahead of this. I do think an Electro is important. I actually think Consume... Oh, we can't play Consume Electro. Um... Okay, no, we can do something, though. So we'll Electro, and then Dual Cast for the Energy. Do we still want to consume? Yeah, I think so. And then uh, Leap Defend means we take no damage. All enemies are taking 12. That's not a ton, but it's enough to be reasonably pleased with. And there's a lot of damage on this turn. Um, it's, it, it stinks a little bit. Uh... But I think, you know, if you amplify defrag, one enemy's dying. This is just a relatively bad draw, to be honest. We're about to take more damage than I'd like to admit. 24, I think. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, you know, the beauty of this situation is if we have to rest, we have to rest. You know, we have the ability to do so. I don't think we want to add a ball lightning. Th these are my ideal enemies. These are my people. Uh, usually, I want to add Capacitor after we can evoke our Energy Orb. It's the way I see it, at least. So now let's get, like, Capacitor. Electrodynamics. Cool-headed. Cool-headed. He's still dual-casting. These guys are pretty much dead next turn. These guys are literally dead. Not yet, but like highly dead now. This is again just a testament to like how fast we can get damage out there. 20 damage to all enemies for zero energy per turn. Pretty solid. Uh, hologram pre-upgraded. It's very interesting. But I think, and I, I don't do this lightly. I think another leap. Very helpful. Okay. Uh, kind of the same boat as before. I like doing Electrodynamics first so that we can get the energy out there. But we're going to Compile Driver first so that we can get two draw. And, uh, yeah, now we'll Zap for energy. We are still taking damage. So we'll play one Capacitor, then a Cool Headed. We could Reboot. I think I'm going to start with a Skim, though. I just really need any block. And, I mean, this is obviously great. Uh, and then we're... That's good. These guys probably won't die next turn, but they could. That's a lot of damage. Uh, I mean, it's just a lot of damage. So, we can get 5 focus up. Which is 24 damage. You will die. You definitely will not die. 31, 29. But if I hit you with this, you will die. Yeah. And then we'll have a lot of focus on this. So I think it's just this and this. Seven block. I wish it was more, but... There wasn't much else we could do about that. So I think we should rest. It pains me a little. 
Nah, 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 nah. I think we're good on blocks. It pains me a little, but if it's gotta be done, it's gotta be done. Now you, you don't strike me as that much of a problem right now. I would really like to be able to evoke this energy. So we're gonna amplify a defrag. That's like your ideal choice. Cool headed is great. Uh, another defrag is comically good. Personally, I would prefer to take zero damage, but the capacitors are an interesting choice as well. The great thing about the capacitors is that they will continue to exist. So, uh, it's a bit weird. I think we dual cast you before we consume. And we don't really want the energy. We want to keep that energy there, I think. We really want our capacitors to come back around. This is a pretty slow trip right now. Certainly we are going to want to uh, play Core Surge to block whatever he's going to send out. But I think you start... Uh, let's do Electro. It pays for itself. Now we can start to get some extra damage out there. Uh, so a Cool Headed into a Compile Driver. We're trying to draw capacitors. We have to Core Surge. I think we reboot to try to get to those capacitors quickly. We didn't get there, that's okay. We'll draw two again. Still did not get there. Very likely to do so on the next turn. Block the debuff, which is awesome. Capacitor gets played, consume gets played. And this, this is the turn at this point, but... All right, weakness is relatively irrelevant to me. Thirteen. Oh, we're, we're set. For now. <laughs> Things could change pretty quickly. Because we're on that TikTok, TikTok lifestyle right now, but... Thirty-five. I mean, we're not taking damage, so I think we'd rather draw. What are we drawing, though? Amplify? There's no other powers, so we don't really care about drawing. I mean, we, we always care about drawing, is what I should say, but we'd rather just get a Frost Orb out there. And, uh, I mean, it's 14 damage, but I think I'd rather just roll the energy forward to next turn. Even if this guy gains 5 damage per turn, it doesn't really bother me. It's just hard to foresee of a situation in which he's able to get to enough damage. Probably, like, literally possible. Do we want consume? Well, let's run the numbers again. Right now we have 90 block if we have full frost orbs. 5 times 16. Sorry, 6 times 16. Which is not 90. It's 96. Brain is broken. Um, if we have 5 times 19... 94? It's actually 95? Sorry, it's early. What was the first one? 96? Okay, I think we're... Basically, you should never do arithmetic. If you're a YouTuber, it just makes you look even dumber than you already are. But I think we don't need to play consume. That's where I leave this situation feeling right now. Uh, I would like, however to get more zaps. I appreciate that a lot because we have enough block right now. So the more uh, the more lightning we can get out, the better. I'm noticing, by the way, we only once we exhaust all the powers in our deck, we only have like seven cards, and I think that's beautiful. 19 plus 48 means we will not take damage. We're still gonna put up some blocks, obviously. Why not? This fight is not hard at all. Right now. <laughs> I guess I could regret it later. Um, yeah, no, this is good. So we get that going. And you are dead. Dude, that was a textbook fight, except way longer than usual. Um, I think we want none of this. 
Do not fear, there is no gas leak in my apartment. It's just the sound of the shower. Try for a doubled amplify. We have to have a good draw to make that work, but... If it works, we're gonna be real pleased. So how do I feel about this run? Dude, I have no idea. <laughs> I really don't. Um... I feel like it should be fine, but I also worry that there's just gonna be, like, situations... I think we have to do it like this. And don't even play Amplify or Reboot in this case. I feel like there are situations where specific bosses could just ruin our lives. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh... Well, you know... Well, you got the opportunity... Why not just try to fill these up? You know you're going to use Consume later anyway. I worry that we're going to have a hard time putting up enough uh, block. 17 plus another 10, 27. We should take one damage here. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, I worry that there will be some fights where we just have uh, trouble putting up enough block, especially if we get hit hard early. But for now, I can't deny that we've barely had to rest. We have rested. Whether or not we've had to is a different story. Do we have any powers left? No powers. I'd still like to draw a consume if possible, but that will have to wait a little bit. Um, we could probably afford to dual cast you. We don't need to consume. He's dead. Like, highly, highly dead. Recursion, it, like, it's close, but I just don't think we need it. Like, I think we have a real solid 21 card deck. That doesn't happen all that often. And it's mostly because we were able to get low early, which I, like, greatly appreciate. I hate losing a leap plus. I think it's the right call, though, because we can make up for it by... ...immediately upgrading our other leap. <laughs> which is probably our best target still, even though it's only three extra block. Um, it's three extra block every time we play it. Okay, so, what would you amplify? I mean, capacitor electrodynamics is kind of hilarious. You certainly want to hit defrag first. I know this guy's gonna get crazy strong. I think you go for electrodynamics next. You get the energy back. You do a ton of damage to these guys. And I know we're gonna get hit, but you play Capacitor regardless to get yourself set up for the future. We know our win condition. These guys are dead, we don't have to worry about them. This guy, we gotta worry about a great deal. So we need Frost ASAP. Probably still worth playing. Frost. Frost. Okay. Um, definitely, I think Consume works just fine. It'll take you to... 27 block Seems like an appropriate number considering he's doing 27 damage and at this point the vice grips already around you It's it's too late. It's too late for you to do anything We have no more powers Forty two I mean we do need to put up more uh, block here, so and This is the value of cool headed. We're at 45 and you're doing 52 well, okay. You're just, like, getting closer and closer to sealing your own fate, is the thing. We still have so much more focus to glean. We have, we'll, we'll do the consume math next time, by the way, but... Or when we draw it, at least. Just 
Just getting the lightning orbs closer to the forefront. So we're gonna draw consume. So let's run the numbers. We have eight times nine, which is 72. Or we could have seven times 12, which is 84. So this is a, a doubtless consume play. The only thing you might like to do is first maybe, well, it doesn't matter because we're gonna have the orbs no matter what. We didn't have anything that summoned lightning, so we're kind of shoehorned into this situation. Do we have enough block? Oh, highly so. He's probably dead next turn. And you can see, like, the first couple of turns can be a little dicey, but once we get the setup, it's over. Well, let's do the math again. So we have 7 times 12, which is 84, or we can have 6 times 15, which is 90. So we'll go for that, and it's just the extra damage we get is even better. Uh... And, I mean, you're not even coming close to hitting us, really, but... Probably should have zapped, but... Like, it's just such... We just win. I know that sounds insulting, but... Do you see what I mean? Like, he can't do enough damage to punch through our armor. So, basically, it's just a race against time for him. Like, right now, he is doing damage. But it's only if we do nothing and it's two damage so if we play let me think about this consumes so we're at 90 if we go to five times 18 it's still 90 so i think i'd rather not play it save the energy for something else really it's all about getting lightning at the front it was not what i meant to play just to be clear uh, it's about getting a lightning orb at the front so we can dual cast it and do like 40 damage on top of our other damage and then You know, he just can't hurt us as long as we draw like a cool headed now and then Which seems relatively likely given that it's like one of six cards in our deck And the great thing about cool headed is that the more we play cool headed the faster we draw cool headed we do worry, and any enemy that adds uh, junk to our deck, like this guy, is going to be a little bit harder. As you can see right here. But this is still, like, it's it's not a gimme. That's an impolite way to describe it, but it's, it's a real good spot. Are you doing 51 damage? So what? We have 60 block without doing anything. Now, mind you, we're drawing, like, a Void per turn. We got 111 block without even meaning to. Now, we're not going to be so lucky as that in every situation, because we did get Amplify on two pretty good powers. We always want to get it on Defrag. Really, our whole life right now just consists of trying to get this lightning orb closer to the front. Are you doing anything? Like, I just don't understand. Okay, you're dead. Another good defect run. Um, we don't have a static discharge. That makes me a little concerned about our ability to kill this guy. But we do have 688 gold as we approach the shop. And a 19 card deck. I would dare say call this one of my best Ascension Zero runs ever. I think at this point, Reboot, in case we need to throw that Hail Mary early, it's probably our best choice. Um, and we can afford to get a little reckless here. No matter what, we probably want credit card first. Uh, and then, I mean, we I forgot we had Thorns. That's really good. I think we are... Cool with whetstone. All of our attacks are upgraded already. <laughs> oh, we're, we never play a defend. Get out of my deck. I think another capacitor couldn't hurt. And I think you might as well take a pen nib. We don't even have like enough to get what we want. Like I don't think we want any of these other things. We have Sozu, so we can't take these. Fusion is close, but we very rarely run into energy-related problems, and we can't upgrade it. I mean, like, I I just think we, we're good. I just think we don't take anything else. Now, not being overly cocky, I still think... I, I have no idea whether we're going to win or lose, but I wouldn't be surprised if we lost. Uh, we get two draw out of this, and we have so much energy to start with. So I really like the idea 
of like a compile driver. Oh, we'll just amplify this now. So we'll amplify defrag for sure. And we'll amplify capacitor. And we'll play charge battery. We're taking no damage. We've gained decent focus. Electrodynamics is very important, but you know, we got we got a lot of issues here. I mean, if you consume electrodynamics, how much block are we getting out of consume? Nine? I'm just like, if we consume, we lose an orb slot. Electrodynamics creates two lightning, so we don't even get our energy back. I think we have to leap instead. But do we leap electro? No matter which way we face, we're kind of in the same boat here. I think we leap. Core Surge. So we have 34 block. Um, I still think instead of Electro, we're going to consume just to minimize damage taken. We're only taking five. Which is totally fine. Now we gotta pivot for sure. This is an extreme consume situation, which you can probably immediately follow up with a capacitor. We do have enough block. We'll throw out a zap. I think you reboot and just hope you don't draw electro. We drew Electro. We want Electro to come out is the thing, because it'll kill these guys way faster. But we do have enough passive block to not be really afraid right now. There's 34 block. We're fine. Like, actually, totally fine. And now you know how this works at this point. Is a whole lot of uh, playing cool-headed. I don't even think Capacitor will do anything for us anymore. But we'll, we'll try because we got nothing else to do. Yeah. Like, actually had nothing else to do. Well, lowering our strength is just about, like, the most useless thing you could ever do. Now we have, uh, 6 times 14, 84 damage. So you are just extremely dead. Uh. Like, like, really... Highly super dead. Very scary. We only put up 87 block by accident that time. Uh, I do think we want an echo form. And, it, it, you know, I haven't been adding cards to this deck lightly. But against this guy, certainly seems like the right choice. We really want to draw a power. I recognize some block would also be helpful. But maybe we sack some of our, pro some of our health on turn one to get there next turn. Or in the future. At this point, what do you play? Let's get energy next turn. Alright, he's doing his uh, multiple attack turn. Uh, this is a very bad turn for us. But it is what it is, right? We're only putting up. Uh, we're only taking 24 damage. This is actually not that bad. And we got all of our setup out there. So now you have to be very, very, very careful. What do you want out of Echo Form? I mean, two free powers seems pretty nice. We're going to take a little hit here, but this could get us there. Because it's Core Surge, then Bias Cognition, then Defrag. I know we're taking hits. We need block, obviously, so let's go for that ASAP. As of right now, we're not getting it, so we gotta do a little bit more work. Thirty-three six. I think we're gonna die. <laughs> I hate it. How dare you? How dare you? No, wait, we're at sixty-one right now. 
Oh, but the burn! Let's see. Well, let's see. Well, we're gonna live with uh, 6 HP. Alright, so now, obviously, you have to block first. This is gonna sound hilarious. I'm not gonna block. Instead, I'm gonna cool-headed. Why would I do that? I feel like we need the frost orbs out there. Even though it's putting us pretty close to death. Uh, I would, dude, you know me. <laughs> I, ooh, that's, it stings. But now we got 70 passive block, and he's only doing 42 damage. So what do you do? Leap seems smart. And then, uh, you know, I'm definitely okay with playing absolutely nothing after this point. And we are, we're in for the long haul. 48 damage, we got 60 on the field. Very important. Then get some frost orbs out there, even more. The more, the merrier. Certainly a capacitor. Consume situation. Now we have uh, 102 passive damage per turn. Get that slime out of my deck. We're just hoping we never get the no block draw. That makes things very scary. We have to play this first. Then we can play a cool headed. We can amplify electrodynamics to get more lightning, but it's tough for me to do it in my head because we're gonna lose a bunch of frost orbs, but I'm just hopeful we'll get some more. This could be a dangerous decision, but it does start hitting them for enough damage to kill them quickly. You're doing 72 damage. Okay. We're just gonna play it very, very, very cool. Obviously, we're not gonna get hit for 72. That's pretty clear. But we still only have a few frost orbs out there. I do not like that. We need to backload some more. Luckily, we have cool headed and leap coming up, so we know we're we're pretty okay there. And after the first couple of turns, things are starting to look pretty good. Uh, so you're hitting me for 44. We obviously have more than that. We have 68, so we will leap just to protect our future moves. And I think the cool headeds are extremely important. We're almost hoping for like a dual cast, to be honest. Do we consume? Is a tough choice. Let's see. We have 9 times 17, which is 90 plus 63. It's 153 potential block. I know we're not always going to have all frost orbs. Or we could have 8 times 20, which is 160. So probably, technically, it would be not unwise to consume. However, we lose a frost orb in the process right now. I would much rather lose lightning. So maybe... Maybe we'll get the exact perfect draw to make that exact chain of events happen. All right, so as of right now, we got 120 passive block per turn. Just keep the cool headed coming. Now we have 140. <laughs> The only thing that can screw us is this right here. Um, I'm trying to explain to you why this is so tough. If we play nothing, we'll be at 1 HP. Because the burn will hit us. If we play... A cool headed and then a dual cast or if we just play a cool headed actually we could die if the burn goes before our orbs go so I actually genuinely think we play nothing the, the only here's where I could be wrong 
if we play cool headed we could be at 2 HP, which is actually meaningful when you consider we could have a turn in which we just, you know, are not able to play any card because it'll kill us unless that card is a block. We're, ex we're relatively likely to draw a block next turn. Not that we need one. So I think we play nothing. Which was fine. We the, the So we learned the orbs do go before the... Uh, the burn goes. Very important. Now let's do the math again. Eight, is, eight times 20 is 160. Seven times 23 is 140 plus 21. 161. So we're definitely, this is where we want to be. And we might as well take the energy. We're obviously not taking damage, so we'll keep drawing and you know getting a cool headed out there. It's impossible to hit us now. It seems like it's a guarantee we will win. That's the way I look at it, at least. I'm still leaping first, just because I'm afraid, okay? We got a lightning orb out there, just to kind of... You know, do some damage. And we're trying to push it forward as much as we conceivably can. You know what, though? I'm not willing to play the other zap. You're doing 58 damage, which is hilarious. Um, we'll still play our leap, just so we can keep things moving here. But I'm, I'm coming to terms with the fact now that we are very, very likely to win. After a lot of heartache, he's gonna die to a Thorns Potion, and we have actually done it. Oh! <laughs> Ho oh, ho ho! Now this is a deck, baby! You thought I used Hyper Beam. He's. Dude! Dude, indeed, my friends! We also, we got two achievements. One for getting all three characters, I'm assuming, beating the heart, and one for uh, beating the heart with a defect, finally. Are you gonna say anything else? The Spire sleeps? You have to click the button. In case, you're, in case you need a game FAQs, Brady game strategy guide walkthrough for the final cutscene, you gotta click the left mouse button to advance the text. Yo, great run! Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Now this is pod racing. Look at this. I will never say no to this deck. Ever. You know what I'll say about this deck, dude? No strikes, no defense. we finally done it. <laughs> anyway... Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.